Nicole Hannah-Jones, author of the highly controversial 1619 Project, ripping into Al Sharpton, of all people, for being concerned about brazen thefts. The Rev, angry at that Trader Joe's guy, remember that hoodlum, who this week helped himself to 10 steaks? Uh, you go to a local pharmacy, Dwayne Reed or, or Rite Aid, any of them, and you've got to get someone to help yeah. assist you. Yes. I mean, we're talking about basic <laughs> stuff. <laughs> what did I miss that we now have to lock up toothpaste? I mean, you cannot have a culture where people are just at random, just robbing and stealing and is out of control. Nothing to Hannah do with Jones, uh, the author of 1619 Project, <laughs> tweeting this at Al Sharpton, saying, quote, this drumbeat for continued mass incarceration is really horrific to watch. A person stealing steak is not national news, and there have always been thefts from stores. This is how you, Al Sharpton, legitimize the carceral state. Right Aid's closing, all the other drugs. I remember I covered Freddie Gray in Baltimore 2015, the big right Aid they put to change the neighborhood, brought, raped, really, by looters, closed. Aren't these people really harming the community in a way that should spur uh, a, a carceral state. you got to put them someplace. You do, Geraldo. And she says this isn't national news. That network spent a week on a guy who smirked at an Indian banging a drum. Mm -hmm. Remember that Covington kid? He smirked, and that was their lead story for a week. So it's not that the guy stole steak. It's the brazenness of the crime. You know, and she doesn't she doesn't want people to focus on the brazenness because the brazenness is shocking. And when people are shocked by crime, they want someone to respond to it. And the Democrats don't have a response to crime. It's like there's always going to be crime. There's always going to be shootings. But if there's a shooting in Times Square, people are going to get pissed. Right. I mean, if there's like a, a carjacking and then a congresswoman's car gets carjacked, that's a little different. So it's like, where does it stop? Like. Some guy's going to steal something. Usually it's you try to hide it in your pocket and then you run away from security. It, it now guys are walking out with whole sticks. What some guy's going to walk out of a butcher shop with a whole cow, Geraldo. <laughs> They're going to steal your girlfriend next. Walk out of a store with your girlfriend over your shoulder. <laughs> Slippery slope, Geraldo. Starts with sticks. Girlfriends are next. Oh, God. <laughs> Nicole Hannah Jones clearly. Oops, that's yours, I think. That's not mine. That's my, okay. Uh, and a, that's a, a Rolex. Gen, a, a, oh, that's my watch. I'll oh, take that. Right here. That's a Cartier. <laughs> that's a Cartier. Oh, yeah, yeah, Cartier. It's a victimless yeah. crime. Yeah. Yeah, just walk out. I'll give you a yeah. steak for it. It's not it's a national <laughs> story. <laughs>